Yep. Okay, we are uh, we're down to the overhangs of this Habitat for Humanity house. And you know, when we put this much R value into a building, um, our other option would be to um, extend the overhangs and have more panel and simply put the inlet plate within the panel, but it gets to be a very thick fascia. So for an extreme panel, we use what's called a tail pocket system so that you can incorporate a normal looking overhang into, into the building. But the tail pockets, you know, we do all this work to make such an energy efficient building, but let's go a few more steps to make everything so that it's tight as can be. Now the first thing I'm gonna show you is we got a can of expandable foam and uh, we have these tail pockets inserted two feet up into the panel and uh, we we're gonna have a, a 24 inch overhang when we're all said and done but with these overhangs it's important to seal them now we send out a foam gun with a tube on it that tube will give some air to the mixture of the foam and it'll actually give you a better bead of foam and we're simply gonna take it and just put it in here and seal up around these little crevices with the tail pockets. Here's our electrical chase that's put in the panel and basically from the edge of the panel we're over two feet that's where that chase is. Now is a great time just to put some foam in the end of that so you don't get air migrating up that joint. So I'm simply just gonna take this fill it in there and you're just sealing it so that air can't migrate around that 2 by and it's it's all about longevity this will ensure that your roof panel is going to stay nice and dry and sealed. Here's another chase. We're just simply just going to foam up that end. I also want to point out, here's the box spline joint, the end of the panel. You can see that the milling of the panel is really, really good because everything seems really tight. You can see our we teed off our ends of our caulk and or the sip seal and it, it made a very nice joint there but if you want to just inject some foam into there making sure that you're getting everything sealed off because the issues with sip panels not that there is many but that air could migrate up that joint you have to stop that air right here so you can't get any out this is so good and caulked here we don't have to put anything in there. Or you can use sip seal. Or you can use a sip seal, just the caulk that we've been using. You could go ahead and put that around there too. We just had the foam out, so that's what we're gonna do. Now that the tail pocket overhang has a few steps to it. You're inserting your two buys, you're cutting. Here we have a 412 pitch. There's also a piece of plywood that Extreme sends along to nail in this between these tail pockets. And it simply is about the overhang sheeting. It's connecting this sheet to this sheet. And that's basically what we're doing. So we're going to continue on. Once we lay all of our tail pockets out, we'll put our subfascia on. And we will go ahead and re-roof it. Oh, while we're here, I do want to point out that at the bottom of here, we have a board that goes in here. And a lot of guys will say, what is this board for? Because it's at an odd thickness. These are actually five and seven eighths inches thick. We have them trimmed from the factory and they go underneath this tail pocket from the OSB board to the bottom and they're tight. We want them tight so it gives this support. And uh, I tell you what, after you do this, a couple hours we'll be done doing the overhangs and we'll have a finished roof.